Hey YouTubers, it's your boy Tony here, Tony Ross here, um, wow, well, um, first of all, it's crazy, we're already at the beginning of the NFL season, um, A.K.A. the Coronavirus NFL Edition. Well, if we're going to be honest here. The fake thing that the... Yeah, but we'll get into that later. That's not what I want to talk about. Uh, what I want to talk about... Uh, I've been actually wanting to make this video for weeks. But for some reason I haven't got around about it. And it is... CT... Colorado Technical University fast tracks now with those i don't know if you're a colorado technical university student um the thing is i have not passed a single damn exam but how it works if you are and you kind or whatever maybe the college that you're going to or high school or whatever probably not high school because I haven't heard of a fast track in high school, but let me know in the comments if there is. I guess I don't know. I just know by college terms. But anyways, I'm going to explain to you my experience with the fast track. Um, and basically what I've learned about them. Um, so pretty much with the fast track... If you score a score of 70% or higher, you can actually test out or whatever class you're taking for whatever in your college career, whether whatever, whether it's something to do with nursing or computers or whatever that you're going to school for. In that particular class, you take, I believe you take this class, whatever class it is, whether it's four years from now or whatever, I think that's how it works. I'm not real sure. But, um, great college, but I'll get into that later as well. But anyways, that college and then the fast tracks. Okay, so basically, you have to be in good standing credit, uh, or you can't be on the probation, not good standing credit. I don't know what the fuck that came from. But anyways, you know what I mean. Don't do D plus work because, or D whatever work. If you're going to do D minus D plus work, D work, that's not going to put you in good, you're not going to be good standing with your university, whether you're doing it online or what you guys are doing. I don't encourage you guys to get a that kind of grade in whatever term. And... There's so many different things I can talk to you about CTU. Hell, I'm the, but we're going to talk about the fast tracks first. And maybe this is going to be a longer video. I don't know because I can kind of ramble on about it. But a lot of this is going to be CTU. Um, so my experience with that fast track is pretty much... If you don't score... Okay, I gotta back up here. I, I really okay. So let's start over. So pretty much, you test, you test out. Of, you get the opportunity to test out of your class, or a class, whatever class you, or whatever course you're going for. And if you score a seventy percent or higher, you get what's called a transfer credit which i believe it's somewhere around four maybe four and a half something like that credits that knocks off what maybe since classes at ctu are probably about five and a half weeks i'm gonna say uh oh my god so yeah, that's like three thousand. But anyways, you get that transfer credit. That's enough. And then the thing is with C with the fast tracks too. I want to mention is if you get that transfer credit, you pass that fast track. Regardless, fast tracks are free anyways. But if you pass it, which I have not yet, I'm I'm a freshman and of, of that university. So yeah, I haven't actually had it that 
chance of passing it, but I'm going to keep taking that fast track. I said I was kind of baffling with myself. It's like, well, do I want to call my success coach and set up another one? Uh, I think I am, actually. Because there is a fast track that can be done on Tuesdays. And so I might actually call my success coach and see if I can't get another one set up because that would be kind of great. Uh, obviously, I'm recording this video on a Thursday morning and it's about 2.30 a.m. or 2.32 to be exact here. I am recording this video according to whatever my... Okay, my phone says, okay, that thing's off by two minutes. It's 2.34 a.m. Let's basically say it's 2.35 a.m. So basically, if I were to set up that fast track, say I was going to give her a call, my success coach... Give her a call or him. In my case, my success coach is a girl. So, um, anyways, I give that success coach a call and say, Hey, I want to set up a fast track. Can I possibly set up one for next week? Well, and if, and let's say she says, Sure, you can, you can do that. Um, you can set up the fast track for next week. Okay, so I set it up. But the thing is, just because you set it up does not mean you're going to have it, especially if you set, like, uh, say, you're going to do it in the middle of the week when it's already past Tuesday, you're not going to get that fast track until that Tuesday. So, you're going to, I mean, you're still going to have to, you're going to have to wait for that fast track. But keep in mind, I encourage you guys to do fast tracks. Don't fret if you don't pass them. Um, because you, there's no, there's like no penalty for not passing a fast track. It, but it saves you thousands of dollars if you do. I want to say it saves you maybe three thousand dollars because that's what you're testing on a complete course. And I want to say roughly that's um, pretty much um, what the case is. That's so I'm going to say it's about three thousand dollars at least, maybe three thousand five hundred, maybe even four, depending on what you're going for, really. Um, but it's say it's going to save you a lot of money on your tuition because it's free if you test out, and. Um, so that's a plus. You do not pass it. There's no penalty. In your, I mean, it's not going to hurt your academic standing. So if you, like, say, for instance, you have a really good grade in your algebra or whatever. You have an, let's say you have an A- minus or an A or whatever you have. And you're real happy about that. But you, you didn't get a very good score on your fast track. That's still not going to affect that's not going to affect what you're doing in your science or algebra or whatever you're taking or trig or anything. That's not going to affect it. And if you don't believe me, of course, call CTU and maybe you're a student there already. Maybe you're watching this video and you are a student there already. And you're getting a real good grade in, in your class. But, um, you know, maybe you're just, you're, you're very nervous taking this fast track. What is going to happen if I fail or whatever? The thing is, my experience, nothing's going to happen. If you don't pass it, that doesn't, it's not going to hurt your academic standing. It's it just, all it means is you're not going to test out of that class. At least at this time. And. Just make. But the biggest thing. Too. Is. Do not. I recommend. Do not. If you want to keep. On good. Um, pro, if you want to. Like. 
you don't want to be on academic probation. Do not get, do not do D minus, D plus, whatever work, because that will not get you or earn you a fast track. Because if you're on academic probation, I mean, I got a great experience. I can experience to this very well. If you're on academic probation, um, basically probation, obviously, to that university, you are limited to what you can and can't do. And basically, okay, so you're in, if you end up in academic probation and you try to get a fast track, my, res my responses, or what I got from my response when I was on academic probation is I could not schedule a fast track until I'm until my academic standing is in good condition. Meaning if I'm doing if I'm doing C work or C plus or wait, maybe it's B plus. Okay, B plus you get out of your um academic standing or you get good at yeah. Well, basically, that whole that whole quarter, you would pretty much have to get to good standing again. Meaning, you obviously you would have to up your grade, which at CTU, if you really apply yourself, I mean it's it's real nice because uh, I mean my audio is kind of screwed up on my computer, so I can't really show you the screen. Because, I mean, I can, but you're not going to hear a single damn word I'm saying. Which is, you know. But anyways, if you guys want to see that, and I'm warning you, the audio is not great, and you probably won't be able to hear me. But if you guys want to see an example, I, I'll be happy to do that. But I'm just saying, even if I did my audio and hooked up my mic, you're barely going to be able to hear me. I'm warning you right now if that's what you guys want. But, um... CTU. So basically, those fast tracks, we I talked about them, and basically, you want to be in good standing. You don't want to be on the probation side of it. So that's a, a big plus. You don't want to be on probation, on academic probation. If you're like I said, if you're doing. If you're getting very, very poor grades, just barely passing your classes, don't say, oh, okay, so I got a D. You know, don't think of it like, oh, I got a D, you know. At least I'm passing this class. No. Because you got to think of it. It's also going to hurt your GPA. And you want to have the best GPA you can get. So... Yeah, because I kind of have that attitude where it's like, well, you know, I'm just going to schedule a fast track and blah, 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 and whatever. And say, well, they won't even allow you to take a schedule or set up a fast track if you're doing D minus work. I mean, so don't, I don't recommend that you do that. I have that attitude. And, yeah, that didn't turn out so good. But, um, so, okay, now we got the fast tracks out of the way. I think I'm going to title this video My Experience at CTU or whatever. I was going to do fast tracks and then whatever, but my, but also my experience at CTU, like, I could talk to you about the IntelliPath. Um... Which is nice. Here, I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but um, I'm just going to kind of... I don't got it. Um, here, let's... I'm going to just log in on my computer, and I'm going to show you... Online login. I usually type in student, but whatever. And then I'm going to log into my student portal. Uh, maintenance. Oh, god damn. They're in maintenance. Shit, I can't show you. 
System maintenance is currently in progress for the site. Okay, that's going to have to be a different video. Uh, but, um, yeah. But anyways, what the hell is the number for CTU? Oh, um, if you guys are interested in going to that school, um, I was going to actually explain fast tracks to you, but, uh, the computer's kind of not working. Um, maybe I can do that tomorrow because they have a maintenance thing, and I'm not going to stay up all night waiting for that thing to work. <laughs> so I'll show you it tomorrow. Um, well, anyways... So, with that not working, I probably should get out of here. Um, with that not working. Oh, there's one other thing I can actually mention to you. It's discussion boards. I'm going to try to get this maybe 20 minutes, maybe 25, whatever. Dis discussion boards. Now... With the last two classes, I haven't really had too much of a, too many discussion boards, maybe one per cup for the last couple courses, but which is kind of surprising because, and then this experience, this reverses all the way back to 2018, and we're in the year 2020 now because, yes, I got which run for that college from Colorado Technical University because there was a discussion post I was supposed to do every week and I did not po and there was and you got and you need to post something and it's got to be posted before your two weeks is up or you get 14 days to post to the discussion board and i decided that i wasn't going to post to the discussion board for some weird reason um yeah i just had some issues about college in 2018 i'm glad i got those figured out before i rejoined ctu in 2019 and things have been going very good but anyways, what happened was, well, I decided I wasn't going to post. I got a warning from my instructor that he was concerned that I didn't post anything. And if I didn't post anything to a discussion board, it's interacting with your classmates. I mean, you know, that I was going to be withdrawn from the university uh, I believe it was like noon of that day, whatever day that was, because that was back in 2018. And I couldn't remember what day it was. And I basically just ignored it and said, yeah, I'm not going to post. It's something simple. It's just like, okay, so it's similar to like, uh, say you're either A, your Facebook, or your dating profile or whatever you're you know you're talking about yourself you're introducing yourself you're saying things about you or whatever obviously with the discussion board it's it was the opposite because you can post anything you want i mean i won't really post anything about your love life on your discussion board i guess that's really up to you if that's how you roll but basically what i always would post on my discussion board, at least lately now, is, like, how your week is, um, what you last did for the week, um, what's your job, I mean, this is, okay, this is when you first sign, or when you first, I only have one discussion board for the last two courses, but usually... In most cases, sometimes you'll have a discussion board every week. They're 10 points if you do them, but I don't know why you won't do them because there's that risk of you getting withdrawn from the university, so your best bet is to post to the discussion board at least once a week. I mean, why I didn't po post to the discussion board for two weeks, and it actually on 
on or and so on. I don't know. Obviously, I like I said, it's ten points, and why won't you want to post to the discussion board? Because you don't want to be withdrawn from that univer from the university. I mean, because it's. For one, it's thousands of dollars. And number two, if you get withdrawn from the university and you want to go back to the university, you have to pay what all classes you paid for. Um, so, yeah. So, I recommend if you're interested... Give them a call if you want to be, like, if you're a student, maybe if you're, okay, if you're already a student, well, whatever, but, so anyways, you can always Google Colorado Technical University, and, or you can see YouTube, or YouTube videos on it. I am going to admit, though. That I don't, but everybody has opinions, so you're going to hear a lot of negative things about CTU. And my guess is maybe those students did not do very good. And they're, or they're pissed off or whatever the case is. But everybody has their opinions about each college, whether it's uh, a college on campus or whatever, you know. People are going to have their opinions on that. Um, and I would like to show you guys how the IntelliPath things, my experience of the IntelliPath thing works, but the websites down, or the, po the virtual campus website is down, so I can't uh, do it again or, or look at it again, so I will probably, I don't know if I'll upload one tomorrow or not, um, uh, so, yeah, anyways, that is pretty much all I have for you on my experience. If you like this video, please rate, whatever, comment, subscribe, and, and if you are new, put a, or whatever, you know, put a thumbs up if you like the video, but, um, yeah, I could sit here and babble all day but anyways if you guys want the number i mean you can easily google it and then get their number but it's yeah you can just google their number i'd recommend you if you're not going to a university and you're maybe just getting out of high school in my case for 10 years i decided that I finally wanted to go to college after 10 years. People thinking I'm crazy, but yeah. So get, Google their number, give them a call, ask them questions if you're interested. I mean, I'd totally recommend it, especially because it's online. So there's a whole lot of pressures taken off on you, of you. Like say you have a work schedule, you have kids or whatever the case is. But you can't really, can't really afford to be on campus. See, Colorado Technical University. And I live in Minnesota. The great thing is when you, the other great thing is the classes too. Your, you see your professor, you have a weekly chat thing and you, you have your professors and all that stuff you talk to and you can ask them questions it's a live chat so you ex you hear everything they're saying and everything they're talking about all the course material they're going over i mean i could tell you all, i could tell you so much stuff about my experience and i've only been going there for <sighs> technically a couple of years but not really but but i could sit there and talk and talk and talk about it which I'm actually doing right now because this video is about 25 minutes. I think I'm going to cut it off here now. Um, so, yeah, you guys all have a good night, good morning, whatever.
part of the world you're from. Um, peace.